Welcome to our concert today. I'm going to introduce our, our performers right now. to our performers today. And our first performer, how old are you? Seven. Seven, and who's one of your favorite Disney characters? Um, Elsa. Elsa, awesome. So, go back and get in line and be the leader. Okay, our next performer, how old are you? Eight. Right up there in the circle. And tell me who your favorite Disney um, character is. I'll go with Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse, of course, okay. And our next performer, how old are you? Nine. Nine. And who's one of your favorite Disney characters? Ariel. 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 Awesome. All right. So parents, we're glad to have you here. And part of your role today is to clap loud. If you clap loud, guess what that does to them? You know what that does. It spurs them on, all right? So we're going to get ready. They're going to um, be marching around. I'm going to be watching to see if they can hold their own in pulse because... Pulse is pretty important in music. And anything you can do at home when you're listening to music, dancing. Let me just see here if I can find this. Okay. This is one of our favorites in class. Okay, so you guys, go ahead. Show the pulse. So today they're going to be playing some trios for you, in some cases, and the very first song we're doing is called Clapping Tune, and you'll know why in just a few seconds, and um, they are playing different parts, so they are not playing the same part, which can be confusing at times. So here we go. You ready, performers? Eyes on your music? Get your hand position. We're in Clapping Tune, right? I'll wait till you're ready. I should have a good experience, okay? All right, here we go. I'm just going to play a little bit here. You're going to hear six pulses, right? And then you start in. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. <laughs>
okay? Yeah? Awesome. Okay, our next song we're going to do is called Alice Midnight. And this is supposed to kind of sound spooky, like at nighttime. And they're also doing different parts. That's pretty tricky. So, um, let's see this one. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to give you a little bit, okay? I'm not going to go too fast. This hand position changed, so that kind of tripped some of them up. So they're learning how to read notes as well as um, different fingers, right? So when they move their hands, sometimes that throws them. So they can be working on their notes this summer a lot, right? The names of them. Are you ready? One, two, three, one. Ready? Let's play. five days a week. And I'm, I'm not saying you have to do an hour. I'm not saying 30 minutes. I'm just saying do it. So at home, parents, you can help um, by reminding them. You can sit down with your child and say, hey, what time of day, what, when are you going to practice? Consistently the same time during the day. I promise in the summer it's going to get crazy. You have more time, you do less. It just follows that way. So the best thing you can do is put it on their job chart, right? And help help them continue during the summer so they don't forget the names of their notes and have them do the little exercises and such. Okay, All right? Sit online. There's a calendar where you can log in your time. So if you have them consistently practicing and you know they're doing it, then they have their own username, and password. And this is a way you can make them help them become responsible, and they can log in their time. And then you guys can set up incentives at home as well. I'm going to do a pizza party at the end of every semester for those students that are get into the clubhouse, right? So there's going to be a pizza party in June, even if you're not taking, if you're part of that clubhouse, if you've gone on and logged in, or your parents helped you log it in, you can do it once a week, but you put in all five days, you can come, okay? All right, cool. Okay, let's do our, that's our pitch. You ready to sing it? You guys, you got to play it? You can be in C hand position, your left hand. C hand. 
composition. Eventually they're learning how to play chords. Right now they're learning and sensing what a pulse is. And that's the big thing. That's a big thing. Sometimes some of my junior high students don't feel that. Um, okay, so right here. So our C hand position. Everybody have C? All right, so C dash, C pulse. Ready? Here we go. Now I need your voices too, okay? Sing out the words. Ready? Here we go. Mickey's piano club was a dream for you and me. And this is in C hand position. We have worked really hard to, uh, first of all, learn what our hands were, right and left, and our finger numbers. Let's do our finger numbers. One, 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 two, 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 three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 five. Fingers of the piano. Good job, awesome. Okay, so they're learning their finger numbers. Confusing because you would think if this is one, this would be one, right? But it isn't, right? So one's here, two, three, four, five. Okay, so C position. So you're gonna put your right hand in C position. We know which is the right hand, right? C position. I wanna see, I'm gonna walk around the room and see if you can do that. because we need a lot of finger strength. Okay, are we ready? I'm going to play it just a little bit and then I'll stop and we'll start again. Okay, we're going to slow down just a bit. Ready? Eyes on your music. So one, two, three, four. One, two, ready, play. So they're stacked. Can any of you play that? There you go. Yeah, so 
in their songs are going to start learning how to chord. So this is going to be on Facebook, so you guys can watch it again. I encourage you to let your children see themselves. They usually like that. So, we really have a chord at the end here. But those three notes are stacked on top of each other, right? Okay. All right. So, if you're watching Periscopers and you like it, click on the screen and send hearts. You can do that when you're, this will be a video for 24 hours. Okay, we ready? Okay, let's show you something else. Let's just see. I'm going to make sure this thing's awake. Cool, because we've worked on the geography of our keyboard. We've played all the way through. So here, which hand would play that? Raise your hand that would play this note. Top or bottom hand? Okay. Which hand, which hand plays this note? Which hand plays this note? This is a little confusing in this program. Okay, yeah. Okay, awesome. Now I want to show you something. If we're right here, everybody play middle C with your left hand. Thumb. Okay, we're going to go down. Which way is down? Point to down on your keyboard. Okay, here we go. We're going to go down. See what's happening? I want you to look at the screen. See that note's on a line? Now watch. C, space, line, space line, space. This is where they would be if they drew them down there. that crazy? So they usually don't. They usually don't draw that low. They usually do something like this, and then they put an 8 VA if they want, or 15 M. Okay, watch this. Watch the keyboard on the TV. Watch. Keep watching. So that's the highest note, and that's the lowest note. So you, that's the spectrum of the keyboard, how far it goes. Okay, let's see if you guys, this is one we worked hard on too. Step or skip? Skip. Mm -hmm. Step. Step. Skip. Good. Let's, have we done second, third, fourth? We might not have done this. We've worked mainly on steps and skips. So if you can help your children see a skip, different from a step, you're light years ahead in reading. Okay, that's really important. Okay, cool. All right, and then another part, this is kind of cool. We haven't done this in this class, but. These are chord, different chord progressions that are very popular in music. Kind of cool, huh? And if we want to put the answers, this is one way to write the answer. This is another way to write the answers. These are chord symbols, right? That kind of cool, and we see those as we learn chords. We start to understand how those work with music. That's kind of a fun program. Now another one we're going to do. And if you haven't signed up for this, I can send you another invite. The reason it's good for you to sign up with, uh, you go to the app store with this, clicking on the email I send you, is it sends me a report of how your child's doing weekly, so I know who's doing what, where they're at. This is great for sight reading during the summer. Let's see here. This 
only works on Apple products, sadly enough to say, but let's do rocking. We can do this at different levels. We'll do it. We can do that. Let's do 1A. Let's see what 1A is doing. All these different songs are on here. Let's do the Spanish roll by left hand. I can send it home as an assignment. Okay, you ready? Let's play this. Here we go. This has a... It'll ask me for to play a note on my keyboard, and it has a speaker that recognizes, matches these. Mr. Mozart, huh? So I'm going to play the A below middle C with the piano. So it's going to hear that. Here we go. It's going to go kind of fast. Looks like the left hand's going to be playing this on A. When the note goes past the line, here you're going to play it. Here we go. A, A, B, C. You guys can play it. C, B, A, A, B, C, B. Let's say I can't play it that fast. Say, wait a minute, that's too fast the first time. So I can slow it down. Slow the metronome down, like, okay, I'm not even sure of the note names, and I don't want it to move if I don't play the right note. So here we go. Okay, it shows me what note to play. A, half note, C, B, A. I'm going to play a wrong note for a minute. See, it won't go on. It tells me the right note. If you want, I, if you haven't gotten it and you do have an Apple iPad or an Apple product, let me know if you need a new resend and I'll resend an invite. You just go to the Apple Store, okay? I couldn't find the original email. Okay, so I'll, if you'd like one, I'll send it to you after. Okay, cool. you sent it, but I think it's the first one. So on the second one, does it show where you can click on a link? Okay. So girls, let's clean up our stations. Take your books in the other room, and would you erase your fingering? They have to write in their own fingering to the song. Will you erase it? And thank you so much for coming. We're so glad that you came. And okay, I'm going to turn this off. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the concert.